thanks to uh, a magical bird, I'm, at least I'm guessing it's magical, because an ordinary bird would not be able to carry the weight of a full man, of a fully grown man, uh, we have been deposited in the area between uh, the rivers that we could not previously reach. And we have located a hole in the ground. Now let's see, who was it that stole the uh, magic shield? A dwarf of some kind, I think. Maybe this leads to a dwarf's mine, then? We shall see. Huh. Graham really needs to learn to fall uh, a bit more gracefully. Drop and roll, you know? You're standing in a shadowy cavern. This cave is murky and damp, and smells of mold and rotted leaves. Hmm. You can see the hole that you fell through in the roof of the ca cave far above you. I don't think we can get out again. The walls are too damp and sheer. There's no way to climb out of that hole. So, yeah, if you didn't have the mushroom, which we will need later, you would be stuck now. Well, I guess south is the only way to go. Hmm, a torch. I guess that means this cave is inhabited. The farther you get from the light, the mustier it becomes. There is a single torch on the wall, illuminating this shadowy cave. Can we take it? The torch is too hot to touch. Wimp. Okay, we'll leave it there. Jesus! Rodents of unusual size? I didn't think they existed. You are standing in a cavern, with a wooden door directly across from you. A giant mouse is standing in front of the door. Hey! I ain't no mouse, capiche? Oh, I guess it's a rat. And he's arguing with the narrator. I thought that was Roger Wilco's shtick. Oh, <laughs> the narrator does not learn from his mistake. Hey, pal! This is no mouse you're talking to here! Okay, rat then. This is a big, hungry-looking rat with slavering jaws and long, sharp claws. Also, he can apparently talk. Hello there, my friend! You looking for anything in particular? You wanna pass through my little door here, right? Well, maybe we can work something out. What's it worth to you? He looks sort of hungry, doesn't he? I'm sure he'll just let me pass. The red grins crookedly, his long, pointed fangs glistening in the torchlight. That's right, mister, just walk a little closer. Oops. Rats! This was one shady character you shouldn't have tangled with. So it would appear. Hmm. Never tried this. In the dim light, your aim would suffer. Better to find a less violent way to get past this dirty rat. Yeah, as if the light in the cave with the dragon was so, uh, so good. How about a rock? You throw a pebble at the rat, but in this dim light, you can't see well enough to hit your target. Well, I know we don't need the pebble pebbles uh, anymore later. The only reason you actually needed them would be to take care of the giant with the slingshot. Hmm. Well, since we can't deal with the uh, rat by means of violence, I guess we need to uh, find a peaceful solution. Do we have anything that a rat might be interested in? Yes, of course. 
cheese. Let's see if he accepts that. Come a little closer, I can't reach it. Cheese? Well, yeah, now that you mention it, I guess I am kind of hungry. The red drools at the side of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. You might want to count your fingers. And he vanishes. I guess that was easier than animating him walking out of here. Amazingly enough, you still have all your fingers. <laughs> Again, I have never tried I'd never tried that before. The game designers really thought of everything, didn't they? I wonder if um, that worked in the original, or if that's something they added for the remake. I honestly do not know. Well, I guess we can move on then. Oh, door opens by itself. Uh-oh! You're in the antechamber of the hall of the Re Leprechaun King. Wait. I thought the shield was stolen by dwarves, not leprechauns. Well, the dwarf apparently secreted the uh, uh, shield away in a hole in the ground. So he must have accidentally secreted it away in a hole in the ground where there happened to be some leprechauns. There are leprechauns in the room with you. Oh no! Now what are you going to do? I'm going to just stand here. With a genuine four-leaf clover in your possession, the leprechauns fear and respect you. Rather than risk offending you, they decide to leave you entirely alone. And they vanish. This a hints that the four-leaf clover uh, uh, might work. By the top of this pedestal, which looks like a four-leaf clover. Um, pillar, I guess. Carved into the top of this stone pillar is a huge four-leaf clover. Apparently, the leprechauns who inhabit this underground sanctuary greatly fear and respect the power of the four-leaf clover. However, if I'm not mistaken, there is actually a better way to deal with them. A uh, way that gives you more points. So, let's restore. What you want to do is play the fiddle. Because, of course, leprechauns have a weakness for fiddles, don't they? They start dancing! I suppose, alternatively, we could have thrown a shoe at them. Wonderful job! Leprechauns find fiddle music irresistible. The moment they hear the music, they begin dancing a frenzied jig. We'll find out later that everybody in Graham's family is incredibly musically talented. Finally, swept away by the snappy music, the leprechaun guards poof right out of the room. See, that gave us points, while the four-leaf clover solution did not. Okay, um... Just saving, just in case. I wonder if I'll have all the points. Not that familiar with the game, so... Overhearing the fiddle music you played in the hallway, the leprechauns have begun to dance. As they do, they pop away in a fit of merrymaking. They're dancing and they're all disappearing. Because that's what happened if you dance too much, I guess. It's like that Buffy episode where they all burst into flame after dancing and singing for too long. Except they disappear rather than burst into flame. Catchy tune, though. Um. Totally gay! Is what I have to say to that.
No offence intended. Not to the leprechauns, nor gay people. This is the throne room of the leprechaun king. There is a scepter and shield near the throne. Indeed, a shield? Could that be the shield that we are looking for? I have a feeling that it is. And I think it might be a good idea to check that out in the next video.